You know from before that using a chip model is one of my favorite ways to model these integer problems. Today we're going to focus on subtracting integers using a chip model. This is a little bit more complicated than adding, so if you haven't already done it, go ahead to the side of the classroom, pick up your bag of chips and your chipboard, and pause the video. Okay, we'll look at this first problem, negative 5 minus negative 1. The first number tells you what to start with on the board. The second number always tells you what to take away to arrive at your final result. So in this case, I'm going to start with negative 5 on the board. So I have to put 5 red chips on the board. The second part says I have to take away negative 1. So you always have to make sure you start. I only have negative 5 on the board right now, and I'm going to take away one negative. So once I take away that one negative, notice all that's left is negative 4. That means negative 5 minus negative 1 is negative 4. Okay, pretty cool. This is my favorite type of problem to use subtraction with when you have a negative number and you're subtracting a smaller negative number. Well, I guess a larger, but less negatives. Um, the next one, the next type of problems, though, we're going to have to go back to that idea of a zero pair. Remember, a positive and negative together make zero. So before, when we were adding negative integers, we usually zeroed out. Today, I want you to think about when you put zero into a number, you still don't change the value of a number. If you add zero, it still makes it the same. So here's an example like this, 5 minus negative 2, and I'll show you how this works. So the first number, 5, tells you what you have to start with on the board. We have 5 positives. The problem we encounter here is we're asked to take away negative 2. Okay? Ugh, I don't have any negatives there to take away. So what you want to do is start manipulating your board so that it still equals this original number, so you'll still have to make it equal 5. But you want to get it to a point where you actually have two negatives to take away. So this ends up pretty tricky, but I'm going to take this zero pair, and what I want to do is zero it in. So notice, oops, um, I want to take that and put it on the board. I'm zeroing in. Okay, just like I'm zeroing out. Right now, if I just zeroed in once, notice I still don't have two negatives to take away. So I'm going to do this again. I'm zeroing in. What's really, really crucial here for you to understand is that the value of the board here, it still equals 5. I haven't taken anything away yet. My value is still the original thing on the board. This all is 5, okay? So now when I'm out there, I'm ready to do the second step. 5 take away negative 2. So now what I'm going to do is take away two negatives. So notice I'm going to take away one negative. I'm going to take another negative away. Okay, and if these bother you, you might want to get rid of the circles as well. But I had 5, I took away negative 2, and notice what's left on the board is 7. For most people, this is going to take a little bit of time to process. We'll do a couple more examples. Okay, so the next one is this, negative 1 minus 2. Okay, so I have to start with a negative 1 on the board. There I put it. Notice I'm asked to take away 2, and I'm asked to take away 2 positives, but I don't have any positives there on the board. So I need to put some zero pairs in until I have 2 positives to take away. So now I have 1 positive to take away. Now I have 2 positives to take away. But what's really important to notice, again, is this all still equals negative 1, because this stuff all here is still just 0. Okay, so I still have negative 1 on my board. Now I'm allowed to start taking things away. So remember, I want to take away two positives. So I'm going to go one, two. Two positives are out. And you can notice I have three negatives left. So negative one minus two is negative three. Okay, let's do one more together. This one is negative one minus negative four. So again, I'm going to start with negative one. And again, the similar problem, I don't have negative 4 to take away. I only have one negative to take away, not four negatives. So I need to start zeroing in. So I'm going to zero in. I'm zeroing in. 
and I have to do that more times. Um, right now, if I look at this, if I've zeroed in three times, I now have four negatives because I didn't have them before, but one, two, three, four. So at this point, I only zeroed in three times, but I have enough negatives to take away, so I'm going to stop at that point. And now I have to take away four negatives. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And notice all that I have left on the board is three positives. So negative one minus negative four is positive three. Okay, if you find yourself having trouble with this, feel free to stop it, rewind, watch again, and we'll get, I'm going to give you some follow-up questions to see if you've caught on. Thank you.